Today, I'm back with another week of school lunch inspiration. But as always, all of these lunches are fun and cute, but still easy to make. I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and click the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of our videos. Let's get on to the lunches. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. All the lunches this week are gonna be Valentine's Day themed. So for this lunch, I'm gonna start by cracking six eggs into a bowl. I'm gonna add a splash of milk, some salt and some pepper. We definitely wanna season up these eggs. And then I'm going to whisk that all together. The kids all love the egg bites I made last week for one of the lunches and they requested that again this week. So I just put a little bit of cheddar cheese in there and some green onions and now I'm gonna pop this into the oven for only about 10 to 12 minutes. These cook up so quick and hopefully they'll come out nice and easy and they won't stick to my pan. Now as you can tell, I kind of overfilled some of these but that's okay, they're still gonna taste great. Now these have had time to cool down a bit so I can handle them but they're still warm so I'm gonna pop them out and get them into the thermoses. And I think four to five pieces is probably enough for each kid. I'm gonna get my lid on there tight. Now to go along with today's breakfast theme, I'm also gonna make some pancakes, but not just regular pancakes. I'm gonna add a few Valentine's Day sprinkles to this mix. So these will be like fun funfetti pancakes. And to make these even more fun, I'm going to cook them in my little donut maker. And now that these are done cooking, I'm just gonna add a few more sprinkles on top so they look extra cute. Now moving on to the rest of the lunch. Of course, we already have our egg bites in the thermos. They're ready to go. But to go along with them, I do wanna give the kids a little bit of ketchup. And this week, I'm going with regular ketchup, not that green stuff they tried last week. Next, I'm gonna add in those pancake donuts. I think three or four is probably a good amount. Next, I'm gonna throw in some strawberry roses. These are so cute for Valentine's Day, but they couldn't be easier. To make these, all you need are some nice pointy strawberries, some skewers, and a paring knife. I'm gonna take my strawberry and stick it onto my skewer, just so I have something to hold on to as I'm cutting it. Then I'm gonna take my paring knife and very carefully cut little slits starting at the bottom of the strawberry. I'm not cutting all the way through. Then I'm gonna use my knife to gently bend each little cut that I make. So it looks like the petal of a rose. And there you have it, a super cute strawberry rose. You can serve this on the stick or not. You could even put it on top of a cupcake. That would be really cute. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just gonna throw in some broccoli. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the ranch in the same little section. So I'm just gonna pour it directly into the box. To go along with today's lunch, I'm also throwing in these tiny little Cheez-It packets. These are specifically for Valentine's Day. So they're smaller than a regular package would be, and I found these guys at Target. And then last but not least, I'm also throwing in a yogurt tube. This is the Chobani Greek yogurt in the cherry flavor. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me. Say hi. Hi. It's time to check and see how they did today. Here's Mackenzie. What'd you think, Kenzie? I really like the egg bites. Is that your favorite part? Yeah. What about Jackson? Uh, I, you, didn't I did. eat, you didn't eat all your broccoli. No, I didn't really like that. But my favorite part was the egg bites. Yeah. And what about you, Lily? What do you think? My favorite was the strawberries and the broccoli. And what about your eggs? <gasps> you ate all your eggs? Good Thank job. You. I'm amazed. Excellent job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, and happy Tuesday. Today I'm making another super cute but easy Valentine's inspired lunch. And I'm gonna start off by making some sandwiches. But not just any sandwiches. I'm gonna take several slices of bread and using some heart-shaped cookie cutters, I'm gonna make some mini peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Today I'm using our favorite extra chunky peanut butter with, of course, strawberry jam. And next comes the fun part. I'm gonna make these sandwiches into wands. I'm gonna take some medium-sized pretzel sticks and I'm gonna stick them in my sandwiches just like this. 
Then I'm gonna place the jelly side right on top of that. Next, I'm gonna press each sandwich down so the pretzel is nice and secure inside the sandwich. And what I'm left with is a really cute heart-shaped sandwich on a pretzel stick. Isn't that adorable? And it was really easy to make. I think the kids are gonna love these. So now that I have our sandwiches in there, it's time to move on to the vegetables. Today I'm just adding some slices of cucumber with some slices of carrot. Then for the fruit, I'm gonna add something I know all of my kids are gonna be happy to see, and that is watermelon. And since we're doing a Valentine's Day theme, I will go ahead and put this really cute pick right in the watermelon. The kids can actually use it to pick up their watermelon when it's lunchtime. To go along with that, I'm also gonna throw in a little tiny packet of the Cupid's Crunch. And then I was gonna give the kids each a Baby Bell cheese. And then I remembered that Jackson doesn't like Baby Bell cheese, so I'm just gonna do this for the girls. And what I really like to do to dress up a Baby Bell cheese is to take one of my mini cookie cutters and stamp out some of the wax. So for today, since it's Valentine's Day themed, I'm just gonna use a little heart. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw in a very special treat for today. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I've been wanting to make it for quite a while. All you need is some pie crust. Next, I'm gonna use my heart-shaped cookie cutter to stamp out several pieces. Next, I'm gonna add one of my very favorite treats, and that is Nutella. Now, to make this into a hand pie, I'm gonna add another piece of dough on top and then use my fork to crimp the sides together. These look kind of fancy, but they really only take a few minutes to throw together. Before I throw these into the oven, I'll go ahead and cut a little steam hole right on top, brush it lightly with some egg wash, and then sprinkle some sugar all over the top. Now I can go ahead and put these into the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until they're nicely browned on the top, just like these are. Once the mini chocolate pies are cooled down, I can add them to a separate container with the trail mix. And then to drink today, the kids are just gonna have water. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it in their Mickey Mouse Good To Grow bottles just to make it a little bit more fun. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. Who should I check first? Me. Let's start with Kenzie's. How'd it go, Kenzie? I really like the pie, it was really cool. Yeah, I definitely should have made more of those. Those were super easy and really good. What about you, Jack, what was your favorite? I like the pie. That was your favorite, yeah. What about you, Lily? Oh, I see some vegetables in there. My favorite was the sandwiches and the watermelon. Those sandwiches on a pretzel were so cute. Did it actually stay on the pretzel though? Or did it? Yeah. Yeah, it did? You could pick it up still? Yeah. I was worried it might get too soggy and you couldn't pick it up anymore, but it seems like it worked. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm gonna start by preparing the treat first. I'm gonna take some peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough, and instead of just making round cookies, I'm gonna try to make them into heart shapes using my silicone pan one more time. So I'm just tearing up little bits of dough and then pressing them into each little section, and then I'm gonna pop the whole thing in the oven. Now while those are cooking, I'm gonna get started on the soup which is gonna be the main part of today's lunch. So today's soup is something that kids have never tried before. Now if you've never tried Italian wedding soup before, it's basically broth with pasta, meatballs, and assorted vegetables like spinach and carrots. Now I'd love to know if you've ever tried Italian wedding soup. I'll go ahead and put a poll right here and you can let me know if you've tried it before and if you liked it. Now because I'm not sure my kids will actually like the soup, I'm just gonna give them a little bit, not too much in their thermoses. But because I'm not giving them so much, I am gonna also include a sandwich. So this is sort of a soup and sandwich combo. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a good old fashioned grilled cheese. The only difference is I'm gonna make them heart shaped with a little peekaboo window, perfect for Valentine's Day. Next, I'm gonna throw in the vegetable today, which is just some crinkle cut carrots. And for our fruit today, I'm going with the Minion's favorite fruit, a banana. And I went ahead and wrote a little Valentine's Day message on the banana using my toothpick. 
Next, I'm gonna throw in just two of our little heart-shaped cookies. These have cooled down, but they did kinda stick to the pan. I would probably just make round cookies next time. Next up, I'm also gonna throw in a small bag of the Valentine's Day pretzels. I've seen these at Walmart and at Target. It's just a really small bag of pretzels with X's and O shapes. They are so cute. For the drink today, the kids can choose between some no sugar added fruit water or some fruit and veggie juice. Wait a minute, one more thing. I definitely can't forget the fork and the ranch. I know Lily will be happy to see both of these. Give me some fork and ranch. We're back home now. Here's what we ate. Who should we start with today? Lily? Yeah. Should we start with you? What did you think? Was it good? Yeah. Oh, your napkin's gone. Did you like your soup? Uh, kind of. Kind of. What was your favorite part? Uh, carrots. The carrots? Okay, what about you, Jackson? I really like the cookie. The cookie, yeah. What do you think about the soup? I liked it, but it was really hot. Yeah, those thermoses do keep the, the soup really hot. What about you, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was also the cookie. I didn't know there was peanut butter in it. Yeah, it's peanut butter chocolate chip. I didn't really like the soup, though. Was it your favorite? No. You just don't like soup. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. I am super excited for today's lunch because the kids are gonna try a new combination they've never had before. That's right, for this lunch, we're doing chicken and waffles. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had chicken and waffles. For the chicken part, I'm gonna cook up some of these alphabet-shaped chicken nuggets. These are really good quality chicken nuggets and the kids love them. I'm kind of hoping to find some X's and O's in here. That'll be perfect for Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure if I can, we'll see. And then for the waffles, I'm using these ones that I found at Ikea. They are the perfect little heart-shaped already, right for today's lunch. It does sound a little bit weird to buy waffles at a furniture store, but we're giving them a try anyway. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the treat for today. I'm gonna make some heart-shaped Rice Krispie treats, and it's gonna be super easy because I found a kit. It comes with everything that I need, except for the butter. I do have to have my own butter and I found this at Target. So I'm just making these Rice Krispie treats the traditional way. I'm just gonna add some of the Valentine's Day sprinkles that I already had. Then using the heart-shaped cookie cutter that came with my kit, I'm just gonna cut out little hearts. Per They'll be the perfect little size for our lunches. And now it's time to put it all together. We already have our chicken in the thermoses and I toasted up our waffles. Now the kids could actually add the chicken and make sort of a chicken and waffle sandwich or they can eat them separately, it's totally up to them. Now to go along with this, I'm also adding in some homemade honey mustard sauce. Super easy but super delicious. Next, to go with our chicken and waffles, I'm also making some waffle cucumber slices. Next, I'm gonna throw in some grapes with a cute little heart pick just for fun. And then to go along with that, I'm also gonna give the kids these small bags of veggie chips. These are special just for Valentine's Day and I found them at Target. But since these ones are for Valentine's Day, they come in heart shapes instead. But they taste just the same as the regular ones, so I'm pretty sure my kids will like them. And then last but not least, of course, we have our special treat of the day, which is our heart-shaped Rice Krispie treat. Oh yes, and before I get all of my lids on here, I do wanna go ahead and take a picture so I can share it with the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group, which is open again. If you'd like to join, I'll put a link down below. Back home now. All right, guys, what did you think of this lunch today? What was your favorite part? I really liked the waffle cucumbers, and the Rice Krispie treat was really good too. What about you, Lily? My favorite was the Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> and Jackson, I think I know what yours was. The sweet, was it the smoothie? Rice Krispie treat. Oh, I thought you liked the smoothie best. I did that. I like it too. You like that one too? Yeah. Like that was a fun lunch. What did you guys think of chicken and waffles? Was it good or not? Nah, just so so. Well, it was interesting actually. I didn't really know what it was. Yeah, <laughs> something different. It's always fun to try new things. 
Hey friends, and happy Friday! I'm super excited for the weekend. We have one more Valentine's Day lunch to make first, though. And for this lunch today, I'm actually gonna start by making a salami and cheese sandwich. This is a classic sandwich that all the kids love, but to make it a little bit more fun for Valentine's Day, I'm using my love cookie cutters, and I found these at Target. Now to go along with this Sammy, I'm also including another lunchtime favorite, which is a hard boiled egg. I know Kenzie will be happy to see these. They're her favorite. Now I actually made these hard boiled eggs last night and after I took them out of the peel, I put them into my heart shaped molds. And now that it's the next morning, I can go ahead and open up the mold and we're left with a really cute heart shaped egg. For our vegetable today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna throw in some baby carrots with some ranch, of course. I'm not gonna forget the ranch today. Then, to go along with this, I'm also throwing in a strawberry yogurt smoothie. And then I'm gonna make a very special Valentine's themed snack mix. For this, I'm using some freeze-dried strawberries, some strawberry yogurt o cereal, some vanilla yogurt raisins, and some Valentine's Day pretzels. I'm just gonna mix these all together and add them to a separate container. I think this is a super cute mix for Valentine's Day, and it's that perfect balance of sweet and salty together. And then last but not least, I'm going to add in some special Valentine's Day fruit snacks. I found these ones at Target, and they're called Sour Twists. Now these packages are pretty small. I think there's probably only three or four pieces in each little package, so it's not too big. But you could give these away as Valentine's Day treats at school. And there you have it. I'm pretty sure the kids are going to love this one. Okay guys, what was your favorite part of today's lunch? My favorite part was the hard boiled egg. I knew you would say that. You love hard boiled eggs. What about you, Lily? I like the sandwich and the Cupid lunch. What about you, Jack? I like the salami. Good job today, guys. See you next week. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for the special mystery subscriber lunch video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.